Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Jamie back for another Battlefield 3 multiplayer commentary. Today I got a match of Conquest on the map Back to Karkan. Quite a large map, but I think I'm going to enjoy this map. Again, it's very large. In Conquest there are five flag points. I believe it's the only map in the game with five flag points. This was a pretty uh, great match. My squad mates in this particular match was the crew Colin, his friend Sun Twista, and I believe a subscriber of my channel, Controlled Rage, I think his name. So the match turned out to be pretty good. Uh, Colin invited me in for a game, which I thought was pretty nice of him. So of course I recorded it, and I have it here for you to enjoy. I believe Colin had a little video on his channel the other day, and I think this was the game he used where he was talking about his aim and things like that. And I will tell you, it's still off a little bit. And here I tried to knife the fence. I have no idea why I did that. But anyway, uh, his aim and things were off a little bit. And from your feedback and things that I've been getting on my previous video that I talked about my aim, I have listened a little bit to what you've said. I have switched up my weapon. One guy made a comment in particular that said the lighter guns, like the G36 that I was using, tend to have a little bit more kick and go off aim a little bit easier so I have since unlocked the F2000 and I will tell you this thing is a beast of a gun I do like it I don't have any attachments unlocked in this particular game but I will tell you I do like it a lot it is pretty it has pretty manageable recoil and it does a quite a bit of damage so I'm enjoying this gun to the fullest so I'm gonna play with this gun for the next little bit and see what I can unlock and see how I do with regards to accuracy and those sorts of things on it. So I do a couple of things I'd like to discuss with you guys. One of those is regarding the chat on the PS3. As we all know it's kind of broke. Uh, during this game I could not understand only every second word that my squad mates were saying. Which was a little bit unfortunate because I was playing with Colin and his friend as I mentioned before and a, and a subscriber so I would have liked to have had a chat with them. But you could only understand every second word. It was like, bit, 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 like that kind of concept. So, through discussion with Colin, he mentioned to me to use Skype for conversing on Battlefield. Now, I couldn't quite grasp the concept of what he was trying to say. So, basically, he walked me through it and told me to plug my headset. Again, I use Astro A40s. To plug my headset in via USB and have... The Tosley cable plugged into the back of my amp or sound to my headset and then my chat to go through Skype. So we tried it a little bit later and I will tell you it is absolutely clear as a bell. So that is the solution I think for the chat on the PS3. So from now on if anybody wants to play I would appreciate it if you could uh, either A follow me on Twitter and let me know your Skype name and we can Kind of get into a squad that way and the beauty of that you can talk to basically everybody on your team not just your four squad mates so i can see how that can be a big big advantage if you can talk to everybody in your team because i always thought that that was one thing that the uh, battlefield lacked was the ability to talk to everybody because i mean of course as you all know you can only talk to your four squad mates via the psn network or xbox live or of course with xbox live you can set up a party so that was one thing that was a little bit unfortunate that i thought was a disadvantage a battlefield so Skype will solve all of that and I will tell you it's the same thing as talking to somebody on the phone it's very clear and of course there's no video uh, or you could have video there but you don't need it for what you're trying to do here so that's one uh, pro tip I will tell you that uh, Colin helped me out with and I give him a big thanks for that here I'm trying to troll that, throw down my medic pack I have no reason why I won't let it go I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys but anyway uh, so that's a bit of a Bit of cool information i guess you could say and that will certainly resolve the chat issues which this game certainly needs fixed another thing guys is about the playstation network with regards to friend requests and those sorts of things i will tell you i will try to play with as many subscribers as i can in these games but sometimes you are playing with some people you'd like to basically stay with and i've had quite a few people keep sending requests and those sorts of things i do want to play with you guys in a game so what I would recommend you do is just send a request if I have room I'll certainly invite you in uh, please don't just join session because I could be waiting for somebody to come in or something of that nature but if you can send a request I'll know that you're uh, wanting to play if I have room I'll certainly invite you in and another cool thing you could do actually if you want to leave your PSN name and probably your uh, time zone in the 
description, then other people that are watching these videos that I've played with, you guys can certainly squad up. And I will tell you, the players that I've played with have made me look pretty bad. You guys are really, really good players. So I think, you know, you guys can create some squads that way to be a bit of an area where you can get together and squad up and create your own squads. But like I say, if I do have room, I'll certainly get you in. Please don't just join session or anything like that because sometimes you're waiting for somebody. But if I do have room, I'll certainly get you in. And if you leave your name down here, you can create a squad. And if you're not playing with a squad in this game, you really are missing out what Battlefield 3 has to, has to offer. Because when you're rolling with a squad, as we were in this game, the game is so much more fun, it's more organized. Now, granted, we couldn't actually hear what we were saying <laughs> to each other, which would have been a, a great advantage. But nonetheless, it can when, when it is fixed, or if you use Skype, as I mentioned, it will certainly add another dimension to the game that right now is lacking. And Skype will fix it for me at least and hopefully that'll help you guys out with it so as you can see this match was pretty close all the way through the score right now is somewhere around 23 to 30 i believe we actually do lose this game but it was a great game nonetheless as i mentioned uh, have the opportunity to play with the d crew column was uh, pretty cool for me pretty cool guy great player as you'll see by the final score and anyway guys i uh, hope you guys are enjoying my videos as i've said to you several times before please leave a comment let me know what you think if you like the video please leave it a like if you don't like it please tell me why and if you guys sub sub could subscribe to my channel would be great so you can help my channel grow and get noticed a little bit but anyway guys the video is coming to an end remember to ptfo all the way and i hope you guys enjoyed and we'll talk to you guys real soon